Hello, my name is Marcel Boudmont. In the first six levels of the uh, Cost Planner videos, I talked about creating the cost data, and we used manual and model-based input. Uh, we defined targets and we defined locations. And in this level, level seven, uh, I will explain how you can use that data uh, to now perform analysis and, uh, and to use it for communication purposes. As you know, Vico Office provides an integrated environment uh, which makes it possible to present all this information uh, in its context so you can see where cost is located and you can see how the cost is currently uh, compared to the uh, defined targets. In this uh, first video, I will explain how you can set up your own custom layouts so you can combine the sources of information that you would like to see together. In this video, I will talk about views that contain a specific type of project data and view sets which are combinations of views. The way combinations of views are presented on the screen is called a layout and we will pick a predefined layout for the custom view set that we will create. For each window in the layout, you can select what content you want to see and this is done with the view selector. I'm currently in the plan cost view set uh, that I started from the uh, plan cost workflow item in the cost planner workflow panel and by clicking on the plan cost workflow item I started a standard view set the cost planner view set. There's also project and references as a view set and then there's also cost planner in 3D as a view set. Now what I would like to do is uh, create a new view set that contains the cost planner, the 3D, and uh, the takeoff manager with the list of uh, takeoff items that I generated. To do that I click this plus button over here and that shows me the collection of uh, built-in layouts uh, so all these are layouts and when I select for example this one uh, I get an empty view set. Uh, so this empty view set contains three placeholders, one, two, and three. And for each of those, I can now select which content I would like to see. So for this, I'm using the view selector. And uh, in this item over here, I'm going to use the takeoff manager. In the top right, I would like to use the 3D view like that from the view selector of that window and for the bottom right I would like to see the cost planner. And with that 3D view I can change the sizes of the windows and that lets me uh, define how I would like to, uh, to view the data and interact with the data in my project. If I would like to uh, reuse this view set later, I can right click on this tab of the view set and say save. At that point a dialog comes up which allows me to uh, define a name for the new view set. So maybe I'll call that favorite view set. Uh, click OK. And then every time I would like to reuse that view set, I can uh, right click and select restore and there's my favorite view set and that works with other projects as well. During this video I worked with views which contain the various types of data that can be created and viewed uh, in Vico Office. I also worked with view sets which are combinations of views. The configuration of the desired set of views in the view set can be selected from a set of predefined layouts and during the video I selected a three-way view. For each window in a new view set, you can select the desired view by using the view selector.